last few weeks, but how bizarre is this to have still so many guys out? The coaching staff is kind of back and forth, although everybody appears to be ready to roll tomorrow. How strange mm-hmm. is this situation? Uh, I mean, it's, it's been strange the whole season. Uh, but, I mean, it is what it is. We can't do anything about it. Uh, we can only move forward uh, with the people that we have. You know, it's unfortunate, but it's just that's just what we live in, the world that we live in. So, um, you know, we get some guys back and the other goes down. Um, we just got to find a way and keep it moving. In your mind, what changes the most without Draymond? Uh, I mean, obviously, he's our anchor defensively. Uh, we know how much he brings every night for us. Um and offensively, how he gets us into sets and get the ball moving. You know, he's the one that's pretty much – is the one that's dishing out to everybody. Uh, we're definitely going to miss him on both sides of the ball. And his leadership out there, you know, just his presence. Uh, but like I said, you know, when he went down, we knew that, you know, uh, we had to find a way. Uh, that's what Coach saying. We had to find another way to, you know, win games. Uh, we got Andrew Wiggins back. I don't know if he's going to be able to play, but I know we got him back which is good for us. Uh, we know what he brings defensively and offensively for us. Uh, so like I said, we just got to find a way tomorrow. This group has, because there's a lot of new pieces to this team this year, and you guys have been able to mesh very well, very quickly. Mm-hmm. And now, as, as you're saying, with so many guys needing to step into even more different roles, how have you seen, you know, not only people integrate into a new system, but then within that new system into new positions that maybe you weren't expecting. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's just, you know, we're just trying to learn as we go. Um, we know it's going to be a tough season, um, we, but not even halfway through. So uh, long season ago with different moving pieces in and out, um, you know, this system allow us to move people around and we got guys that are versatile that can play multiple roles um, and we use that to our advantage. Did that win uh, against Phoenix on on Christmas because you guys were missing five players and was against a fully healthy team? You guys are number one, two in the West. Mm -hmm. Did that kind of give you guys that extra boost of like, okay, we actually, we know that we're good, but we really have the Mm -hmm. pieces to maybe survive this stretch um, with so many guys in and out of protocol? Uh, I think we know what we're capable of. Um, you know, that was just another test for us to see where we at, even though we were missing a few of our key players. Um, but we took on the challenge. Uh, I think that was more of us looking at ourselves and uh, seeing what we're made out of, you know, with a few people down and able to get that win. It, it meant a lot for us. Um, we watched film and we learned a lot uh, from that game. Uh especially in the fourth quarter, um, how we were under control of that game. I know the last time we played there, we were, you know, kind of out of control, uh, but we were able to execute down the stretch. And we we took that and learned from it and, uh, you know, trying to apply it for the future. Appreciate it. Uh, let's go to one on Zoom. Christos, go ahead. Hello, Otto. Hope you're doing well. You mentioned before the absence of uh, Draymond Green. Do you feel ready to make another one step up uh, to cover that absence uh, on both ends of the floor? Um, do my part. Uh, I mean, we know that that's a big void with Draymond um, going. Like I said, he's our leader on the defense, Ben. Uh, but I think everybody's going to have to take another step, uh, including myself. 